Hi, my name is Deborah Hess. I'm with the Colorado Cancer Coalition Skin Cancer Task Force. Uh, when I was younger, I used to lay out in the sun on aluminum foil blankets with baby oil and iodine, getting as much of a tan as I could. We didn't know any better um, back in the 60s and 70s, and so getting a tan is what we were all doing. And because of my behaviors, I have been diagnosed with two basal cell carcinomas, two squamous cell carcinomas, and two melanomas. And so the Academy, American Academy of Dermatology provided me with this poster to give the education of what you're looking for with a melanoma. So the A is a symmetry. If you folded your mole in half, would it be perfectly matching the other half? Also the border, is the border a smooth border or is it kind of scoopy and scallopy? That's another danger signal. The color, is there more than one color in your mole? Also D, diameter, is it bigger than a pencil eraser? And they've recently added this evolving and that's one of I think the biggest red flags is if you have a mole that has been changing, that's something that you should have a doctor look at. In fact, even with my history, I um, had melanoma first uh, when I was 39 years old and have a four inch scar on my rib cage from my first melanoma. And then I had 20 years of good living, of changing my lifestyle so that I could prevent skin cancer if I could. And then I was diagnosed with a second melanoma. This one was on my leg. And so my doctor had to cut a chunk of skin out of my leg to remove that melanoma. And then a year after I had that melanoma, I had a spot in the middle of my chest. And that I scratched it because it was just a bump there. I scratched it off and it healed. And then several weeks later it came back and it was a little bit bigger. And I scratched it off again, even though I know about skin cancer, I wasn't really applying my own knowledge to my situation. So after the third time it came back, I called my dermatologist and said, I think I have a basal cell on my chest. And so they got me in right away and he said, no, that's a squamous cell. So he cut out about my squamous cell scars are about an inch and a half to two inches. So he cut one out of the center of my chest. And then six months later, I had a second squamous cell on my collarbone. So it's about understanding. And if you see something that's changed, if a spot on your skin has healed and then it comes back, that's not normal cell behavior. Um, once something heals, that should be it. And you shouldn't be dealing with that anymore. So Nobody loves me like I love me, so I think of it as my job really to know my skin, to know what has changed, and to also have peace of mind. Like people will say, I have this thing, I'm not sure, and I tell them, check with your primary care physician and have them look at it. If you're concerned about it, then it's something you deserve the peace of mind to know whether or not that's a skin cancer or if it's nothing at all. So to show that to a doctor and let them decide whether or not that's something that needs to be addressed. So know your skin, know if something's changed. And actually my two melanomas were tiny little black dots that I would say had the texture of like a candle. They looked kind of waxy and um, I was aware of the one on my chest, but the one on my leg, I never even saw. He, um, during my examination, my doctor saw it and he cut it out and I, I never noticed that one. So that's where having someone looking at your back, uh, spots that you can't see or looking in the mirror and doing self-checks to know your skin better than anyone else.